What's up everybody? In this video, we're going to talk about how to use your podcast to generate leads and not just create content, but actually create content that drives people to action and hopefully sells products for your business. So let's get into today's episode. What's up everybody? My name is Brandon Brashears and this is the Digital Marketing Madman channel. I make daily marketing videos, so if you are trying to grow your business with digital marketing, be sure to subscribe here. I have some really good videos and it'll help you to grow your business and sell more online. So a lot of times when people create podcasts, they're not quite sure how to monetize it. With podcasts, it's a little bit difficult to figure out how to drive people to uh, make buying actions directly from a podcast. So I'm going to give you some tips here that I've found have been really, really helpful in generating additional leads and sales with the podcast specifically. So let's get into it. The first thing that I think is really, really important is remember the medium that people are listening on. Typically, they're on mobile devices. Now, there are other players like Spotify and things, and depending on what your niche is that you're in, it's going to kind of determine where people are consuming podcasts. But typically, people are like working out in the morning. That's one that I get a lot. Hey, I listen to you every single Monday, um, and every time I'm at the gym on Monday, I know to listen to your podcast. So having a podcast that or calls to action that are mobile based and mobile optimized is extremely important in my opinion so things that i do that are mobile optimized are having specifically text to um, text message marketing in place so if, for example if people text the word veterinary to 44222 they're able to opt in to my newsletter and so that's something that's really simple because 44222 is easy to remember veterinary is easy to remember especially for my podcast which is the veterinary marketing podcast and so it's very simple to take action the other thing that i think that's beneficial about that is that it, it puts them into the funnel and you're knowing where they're coming from and you know it's a lot different of a lead quality from people that are podcast listeners and podcast subscribers than in other places. So it just is helpful to create funnels that are specific to the podcast. And once they opt in, you're able to get not only their phone number, um, not only their email address, but also their phone number. And so that's really, really helpful. So that I think is the, is the first thing that's really important. And the second thing is that you have to remember that they are typically doing something else at the same time while they're consuming. So having content that is going to follow up with them based on uh, activity. So building out retargeting audiences for people that are engaging on social channels, um, specifically with your content or on your website is extremely important. In general, um, most of your podcast listeners are going to probably listen in iTunes or Google Play. But a lot of times if you are reminding people that there's a new episode or that there's old episodes and topics and you're putting that content out there, um, it's going to also be beneficial to, to build those retargeting audiences to, again, figure out who's listening, what topics they're interested in, and what are the offers that you can show them. Uh, the last kind of tip that I have for you with podcasting in general is making sure that you are referencing the different offers and, and content. I find that webinars work really well, depending on the industry. Um, but if you're creating webinars, or if you want to send people to special offers for the podcast, having URLs that are really memorable and simple to do, um, simple to know. For example, when I'm doing my podcast, I have a group that is called the Veterinary Marketing Nerds. If you want to join, I say go to veterinarymarketingnerds.com. And so I actually bought that URL and I just forwarded to the group URL because it's a lot easier to remember veterinary marketing nerds than it is to remember facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash the veterinary marketing nerds, right? So it's ease of use and remembering the medium that they're in versus trying to get them to do something that's kind of unnatural. So in general, building out audiences that are on podcasts are very, very valuable because you're able to really build a connection and get a lot of context with the people that are going to be potential customers and clients. And um, that being said, you're able to build a lot of goodwill and get people to take action, but it has to be the right thing. So either make something that's a little bit more complicated and retarget later on, or make it really simple and mobile based and get it right away. That's kind of the two strategies that I have for you today. So if you like this video, please consider subscribing. And I make daily marketing videos here. And if you are trying to grow your channel, or 
And if you're trying to grow your business with digital marketing, I really suggest that you subscribe because I do the daily marketing videos here. All right, have a great day, everybody. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.